Hello and welcome to the LondonBiker.com. You join us here in Wales today. Uh, where, as you can see, we're rough camping. So we drove across the country yesterday to test out our gear here in Wales, and we planned on rough camping last night. So moral of our story of our journey yesterday is stop and ask for help and advice, because when we stopped and asked the local farmer if he had a field that we could camp in, he offered us this place, which is his little barn, um, complete with kitchen and beds upstairs. So we're roughing it tonight, but that's not stopping us cooking on the road. And before we start, we're gonna do bread today. Very simple, very quick breakfast bread. But before we start, I want to show you a camp kitchen and the kind of tools that you should take with you on the road. Let's have a look. What I've done here is I've just taken a, um, it's a wash bag, see to summit, very small wash bag and I've created my kitchen set in it. It's very simple, very straightforward. I'll just go through what I consider the absolute basics when you're away. This is, of course, olive oil. Now, the olive oil, uh, some people say you shouldn't fry with it, but um, in fact, Patrick says you shouldn't fry with it because it's evil, but it's good. It's marvelous for salads. You can use it cold without cooking and the rest of it. These are salt and pepper, uh, turmeric and uh, paprika, and we have uh, chili powder and Chinese five spice. What I also carry, and I think this is the most important thing in my bag, is some uh, hand sanitizer. You're not always in a position where you can wash your hands. And then really what I have here in the rest of the pack is tools. I've got my spoon, I've got my uh, fold-out um, spatulas, I even have a grater for the chocolate on top of my hot chocolate and coffee, as well as a milk frother. So there's no reason why you shouldn't have those little treats on the road. And the whole thing packs up very small fits on the motorbike quite well. So just have a, have a little think. Be careful about what you want to take on the road. Don't take everything. There is a temptation to pile everything on your bike to make sure that you have absolutely everything. And quite often you don't need it. This is quite a small one. Um, this is Stacey's. Um, this is Stacey's kitchen bag. Now, the, to be fair to Stace, he's got a great deal more than me in here. That's a windshield for a cooker. Um, or the wing off a Ford Anglia, I'm not sure. Um, this is Stace's tool roll, which is beautifully made. I mean, the workmanship here and the, the quality and the way that he's laid this out is fantastic. It includes the grilly put, which is a portable barbecue system. He's got his fire lighter, he's got two spoons, and he carries his knife in his tool roll as well, which I don't. My knife tends to be carried uh, a lot nearer to me than back away in my bike. But this works for Stace, he's got the room for it, and also he tends to travel two up. So it's horses for courses, whatever works for you. Now, let's get on to the important thing. Let's make bread. We're gonna need a little bit of salt, so we'll get that out. Now I've washed my hands. Make sure you wash your hands because this is a very uh, hand, center task. Bring a little bit of flour with you. I have about 250 grams in this bag. Actually, the measurement doesn't really matter. Um, just be prepared if you're going through customs anywhere to let them know exactly what the white powder in the bag is. We're gonna make flatbread, uh, which is flour and water. That's it. Now the marvelous thing about this recipe is that um, you can make flatbread, you can make savory flatbread, you can make sweet flatbread, you can put fruit in, you can put chocolate in, you can put whatever you like in. So this is breakfast, so we're going to make savory. Now I'm putting in there, I would say about two spoons of flour into this bowl. And uh, the mistake people make with bread of all sorts is too much water. There's not a great deal of flour in there, so we're going to just put a tiny, tiny little dash of water. A bit more of a dash than that. And just get your hands in there, mix it around. Now, it's easy to add more water. It's not so easy to take the water out. Um, what's happening as we crush this is that it's going flaky and stringy. Press the bread together. Really press it to try and make that dough. So as you can see now, the consistency is just starting to, and that's my phone going in the background. We're professionals here. 
This is just starting to come together. Now this is what I meant about adding more water. I need a little bit more water in there, but if I'd put too much, I wouldn't have been able to do that. So a little bit more water. And you just carry on pressing and making this dough. This will take about five minutes to do. Um, it's, not a, it's not a straightforward task and it is a little bit messy. So now I've nearly got the consistency right. What I'm using now is my knuckles to actually press it down. So I'm just gonna, we're going to pull this out on the board, a little bit of flour on the board. This is easy even if you're outside on the ground with a board, nice and straightforward. There's my bread. Now it looks quite dry, the consistency is dry, but you will find as you start to press it down that the dough will start to um, start to moisten out towards the ends. You want it as flat as possible across the thing. Don't worry about getting it as a nice little shape. You won't do it, you won't succeed. And that's it, that's your flatbread. Now at this point, you could mix in some fruit, you could mix in um, some sugar, you can mix in some honey or some chocolate chips, whatever you fancy. But we're having this for breakfast and in fact we're going to cook a recipe from Les, a Travel Dry Plus, in the next video for breakfast. So join us then when we'll also show you how to cook this.